less and less plus size content creators as time passes. Thank you. By having a nice body is the biggest flex ever. What's, Blow your mind. What's, how do they do it? What's the rationale? How do they do that? In this video, we will review some fat content creators, try to understand their views, and talk about health. Let's start with the always tired, always lazy obese mom. Lazy dinner with a tired mom of three. How come you are always tired? Tired of what? Tired of moving. Moving where? From the sofa to the fridge and back. I was going to say just breathing. Isn't this child neglect? I wanna be skinny but I wanna eat shit And that's why my life is problematic How if, if McDonald's is serving an all beef patty how can 30% of it be soy? All beef patty, special sauce, lettuce. Damn, cheese, that's like a riddle. How do they? <laughs> how do, it's so easy. Well, then what do they? Blow what's, your mind. What's, how do they do it? What's the rationale? How do they do that? They own a company called All Beef. Oh. Uh, who makes the patties. <laughs> so when I see natural that flavors, so it might as well say fuck. cyanide. So you they know, so, so containing natural flavors. So really, that natural flavor should have an R next to it. Like this is actually a company. Natural Who flavors. Who knows what? Oh it is. my god! I'm Selling all bad. beef. The company all, all beef, beef patties. That's so. Not a fan of MacD's, but this is a myth. Throughout this video, let's talk about something that might sound kind of boring at first but is actually one of the most important things in your body, your gut. Not just your stomach, but the trillions of bacteria living inside it. These tiny organisms, together known as your gut microbiome, are like microscopic workers behind the scenes, constantly affecting how you feel, think, and function. What's wild is that most people don't even realize just how much their gut impacts their daily life. We're talking about your mood, your energy, your immune system, your hormones, even how well you sleep or how clear your skin is. The gut is basically your body's command center, and when it's out of balance, everything else starts wobbling too. There are less and less plus size content creators as time passes, so this is my official application to be your plus size comfort creator. This is my outfit today. My main mission is to romanticize bigger bodies because we get to be soft and feminine and beautiful too. I love my body. I always have. I always will, especially when it peeks out of my outfits like this. I hope this video found you and you get to find a new home on my page. I love you. But why are there less and less fat content creators? Why did the existing ones stop posting? And what exactly do you love about your body that wouldn't change anyhow? I am so glad that the comments are so nice. I was scared to even open the comment. I also use a uh, loofah on a stick. Um, main reason is just to be able to get, you know, behind my back because I can't reach like a normal person. And then the other main reason that I use it is to, you know, clean my, you know, private parts and everything like that as well. Hope you don't use the same one for your body and your private parts. Just a reminder, what you eat in private is going to show up on your body in public. Okay? Yup. My tacos are definitely showing up. No wonder I'm so chocolatey. Now, we're back to the gut conversation. And here's why it matters so much. Your gut talks to your brain. That means when your gut is happy, your mind feels clearer, calmer, and more focused. And when it's not, you might feel anxious, foggy, or constantly tired, even if you're doing everything else right. One of the most powerful things your gut helps regulate is your hormones. Cortisol the stress hormone, 
insulin the blood sugar manager, and leptin the I'm full signal, all of these are affected by what's going on in your gut. A messed up microbiome can lead to wild mood swings, sugar cravings, and that frustrating feeling of always being tired and hungry. And this is one of those things nobody tells you when you're just trying to eat healthy. If you've ever tried to lose weight and felt like your body was fighting you, this might be why. A healthy gut can actually support weight loss by balancing hunger hormones and reducing inflammation. Fresh fruits and vegetables. After this, no, I have not. Did you buy anything? Dresses, jewelry. Okay. Sorry, bro. You might help me with my stuff. Thank you, brother. Thanks, guys. Thank you. If they can, they will. So thank you to all the agents, always helping me. Always good vibes, never judgmental vibes, always a lot of spirit. So I love you, Wayne. That's why we always fly, you guys. But my over 50 pound suitcase is an issue. Are they adding another island? To better society, it needs to start with us. Being fat is a burden to everyone. Hello there. Hello. How are you? How are you doing today? I'm fine. How about yourself? Oh man, I'm doing lovely. Here's the foot again. My 600 pound foot. Imagine the day they see you again. And you are just. Well. Better. Wake up, Duffy. I was scared, and then this was such a great clip. Guys, in case you didn't know, bigger does not equal unhealthy. Back to the gut health conversation, even if you don't focus on probiotics or fiber you can improve your gut health in different ways. One of the simplest things you can do is stop feeding the bad bacteria. That means cutting back on ultra-processed foods and added sugars. Your gut loves real food, stuff that looks like it came from the earth, not a lab. Also, getting enough rest each night helps your gut bacteria stay balanced and do their job. When you skip sleep or stay up late every night, your microbiome suffers, and you might feel more bloated, foggy, and stressed the next day. Speaking of stress, it wrecks your gut. We usually think of stress as just mental, but your gut feels it too. Chronic stress damages the gut lining and lets the wrong bacteria take over. This is your reminder that being hot is a mindset. This is your reminder that having a brain is a mindset. We should not normalize obesity. And you want to know another reason why having a nice body is the biggest flex ever? When you walk into a room, you don't even have to say anything and people already know so much about you. They know you're dedicated, they know you're disciplined, they know you work hard, and you don't even have to say anything. Your body just speaks for itself. Your body straight up exposes you. Any habits that you carry, your body is going to show that. That's why when you're super fit, people just respect you more because they're like, damn, you can't fake this. Like, this takes hard work. People clown me all the time. They're like, oh my God, your six pack is your only personality trait. And it's like, just say you don't want to put in the work that I put in. They respect you more because you respect you. While we are at the gut health topic, let's not forget your immune system. About 70% of your immune cells live in your gut. So when your gut is strong, your immune defenses are too. And if you've ever struggled with acne, eczema, or skin flare-ups, that might be gut-related too. When your digestion is off, inflammation rises, and your skin often reflects what's going on inside. If you want
want to know who your real friends are, get skinny. Get skinny, lose weight, get healthy, go to the gym, take your vitamins, do all of the things to become a better person and watch all of your friends one by one start hating you. The funny thing is they think you don't notice. When I gained weight, most women were much nicer to me than when I weighed a lot less. I agree. You've probably heard the whole nothing tastes as good as skinny feels, and I used to think that that was so toxic. Three or four really tasty and often high calorie meals a day just to enjoy it for the 10 minutes that I'm eating it, to me, is not worth waking up and not being happy in my body. I'm not a fan of Kate Moss, who originally said that, but I do agree that being fit is way better than any food tastes. When you lose weight, you actually have to maintain that lower weight loss for at least two years. That's that hypothalamus set point. And that means that it takes your body two years to accept your new weight. And until that time is doing everything it can to turn down your metabolism to get that weight back on. Increase your muscle mass significantly and you'll offset this. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to make small shifts. Sleep better, stress less, eat real food, and give your gut some love. 